finally got to your request because I'm pretty sure you're the one that requested this a while back. Who else is going to request something by Valve? I know you, McDuffin, and I hate you, but I love you anyway. You're my bro. <laughs> uh, anyways, today's video is by Valve, and it's Counter-Strike Go Player Profiles. Oh, you yeah, Meister. Fanatic, I don't know what the fuck that means. I only played Counter-Strike one time and I got bored. Yes, I got bored. I think I was playing it weirdly. But anyways, let's do this shit. I've always had the goal to win. Well, this is different. If I don't like, be the best, then it's not fun for me. I played a lot of football when I was little. Probably started when I was... What the hell does this have to do with Counter-Strike? very talented at football. I remember me and my father going to the watch some of his games. That's a huge part of his life. And I think he was quite good when he was about 14, 15 years of age. But he would hurt his one knee. Oh no. When I got injured, we went to a specialist at uh, Stockholm. Stockholm. And he pulled Took back and played for a year. I think he was quite sad. Sad that then he showed. I actually went home and was really mad and pissed off, but I went, actually went home and played with uh, Counter-Strike. Ah, there we go, Counter-Strike. That was the only thing I could do, actually. My favorite game has always been Counter-Strike, ever since I started playing from computer games. Olaf is a very competitive, persistent guy. Olaf is very good! what he does. He started playing, and he became really good, really good. When he's uh, practicing in the evenings, and he's getting a bit... Don't we all get angry at gaming? We all get game rage. Me playing, yeah. I told him, like, if I can just focus on the game, I will, like, have it as a full-time job, and he was like, go for it. There's this uh, sport professor who has published this book around the 10,000 hours that you have to invest 10,000 hours into something, and if you do that, you become really good at it. I think that's really true for Olaf because he has invested more than, I think, 10,000 hours. I think 10,000 hours in Counter Strike. Because I think we are really dedicated, every one of us, and wants to like focus on something. And I don't know what version of Counter Strike I played, but it was shit. This look, this game looks good. Extremely focused on the players and also calm. It's also rare. that he really likes the game. He likes playing for fun, not only competitive. And that makes him really versatile. Well, I probably got discovered when I played in MVB, I guess, which was around 2014. Fnatic got to see me because we beat him in the quarterfinal. Who's Fnatic? It was really important. Fnatic asked me if I could hear him. Who's Fnatic? Now he's the best in the world at the, what he does. So we saw Olaf Meiser again. Olaf Meiser with the push on shore with the flashbang. He took down a no scope and then just opened up the bomb site completely. Fantastic stuff for him. Three frags and what a performance. We know he is one of the best players in the world. It's kind of unreal. I don't think that I can understand how big it is right now. I think it's gonna like hit me more when like I stop playing and I can look back at this time. But it it means everything to me. It's amazing. But he's really big, you know. When we were at this local video store in the video store where we grew up, the guy working at the video store is saying, like, wait a minute, aren't you uh, Olaf Meister? Olaf Meister. He's like, yes, I was like, wow, this is cool. That's so weird. <laughs> it's quite a new thing, of course, that he has fans. So Did he have fans, fans before? Take a picture with me, and my friends were like, isn't it annoying that people comes up to you all the time? I was like, no. I don't see them as my fans, I see them as my friends. Olaf is a really nice guy. I mean, he genuinely likes his fans, and I think that's why people like Olaf. I actually like have like, been given a nickname at my new job called Hannah Meister. The <laughs> Hannah Meister. They're like, oh, hi, Hannah Meister. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, hi, hi. I hate you all. He's on the top. You have to feel good in life. That's important. Yeah, yeah. You have to do your thing. And he's doing his thing, his dream. Good for him though. He's really, really special. He's living his dream. Good for him. And I'm proud of partly like... Can't hate him on that. that. He's living his dream. Stood ...behind him and has given him the chance to do what he loves. Yeah, 
Counter-Strike proved to be a, a nice alternative to, to football. Now that it's, it's done, it's been really cool to see. We are one of the best teams in history. Now I can buy myself an apartment, I can buy myself a car. This was things that I wasn't like thinking of when I was starting out. Now it's like my full-time job. It's amazing. I always said that the best part is being able to play the game that you like. Yeah. Right now, I eat, sleep, breathe. Hey, do your thing, man. Do your thing. So, hey, I was pleasantly surprised when Dovin, you gave me a good video. It was... Really good, like, hey, live your dream, you live your dream, that's what you're doing with your Twitch and everything else you're doing, and I'm doing with mine and all that stuff. We all are, I don't think we all get to do it, but hey, if you get to live your dream, you do it. Great video, McDovin. Was expecting something different, wasn't expecting this, you sure surprised the hell out of me. But anyways, that's it for now, Humanoid Nation, Humanoid Freak Out, bye. Los chilenos no multiplicamos, hay un problema, lo solucionamos, por todo el mundo los chilenos andamos, de bonichoro ahí no paramos, tecnología muy avanzada.